What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. This is for my last win. I have to click it, which is going to make this disappear. Uh, yep, and then I got to go find... There we go. Okay, we did it. This is a juicy pack. Got a Karn. And an Upheaval. Thief of Sanity. Renin 6. I think I like Upheaval. I really want to start with an Upheaval here. That seems pretty good. Yeah, we're, we're going up. And we're heveling. You guys ever heveled before? Thieving Skydiver seems Shut really up and good. Take my money. Oh, Kurt with the Dono Train. You guys want to start a Dono Train? Dude, I'm still on my November rent. I can still pay it by the end of the month. I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Simic Signet's nice. Sylvan Carry Added's nice. If we're upheavaling, we do want all the mana sources we can get. I think it's still Thieving Skydiver. I think this card is very strong. Plus, we can steal their stuff and upheaval. But then they get it back. Yeah. I guess. Mike B, we're coming to America. I guess it's just miscalc here because really this pack's not very good. It's not very good. I mean, it could be harmonized. Again, we're assuming we're going to be green blue in order to uh, upheaval because you want to ramp. Because you want to add 14 mana to your mana pool, then upheaval, then have 8 floating. Replay all your things when your opponent doesn't do anything. That being said, miscalculation is still a solid counterspell. I'm going to watch this Colbert skit after this too. You guys are going to get to watch it with me. Oh, am I going to take somebody's money? Take my money? For the price of a cup of coffee, you could support a Frank Lepore. That's very true. There's no there's no denying it. I'll take Narset. It hits two of these so far. I don't think it's Avacyn's Pilgrim or any of the green cards in here. I don't know if we're upheavaling yet anymore. After this, I'm going to pause it, and we're going to watch this Colbert video together because I'm real excited about it. Do you take Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, we don't have a set direction right now, so I don't. I wouldn't mind taking a Wheel of Fortune. I also wouldn't mind taking a Duretti and being black, blue, blue, red. Upheaval. You also just take Gristlebrand because that dude is just Chef's Kisserino. The thing is, Duretti lets us work with one of the cards we have. Gristlebrand kind of just... I'm going to take the Duretti. Gristlebrand kind of just works with nothing, but it gives us like a a direction. We also don't have any sort of uh, reanimator deck here, so... Whereas like we could get like Coalition Relic or Grim Monolith or Worn Power Stone and then still have Upheaval going. We just Grixis again. I mean, there's no literal, no blue blue cards we care about. There's no black cards we care about. It could be Lotus Bloom. I mean, it. Yeah, all right, I'll take a Lotus Bloom. That's not exciting at all. I'd like to try to not be three colors if I can avoid it, so.
who does that? I mean, they also have a Gilded Lotus. We're coming to America. Memory jar. I don't think I, I don't think I care about memory jar at all. Could take Findhorn Elves when we're back on the the blue green train. I don't think we're I don't think we're storming. I want to take Elves. I think it has the highest percentage of being played by us in that pack. Oh, Venser seems great. So does Karn. I think Karn is just fine. I think with the, the versatility of Venser just feels better, though. Phantom Ding. Phantom Ding here. Y'all don't get me. <laughs> oh, man. That Phantom Ding. What a little rascal. Okay, well, Woodfall Primus is a, one of my favorite dudes. Uh, I actually don't know about Lotus Bloom and uh, Bullets of Citadel because it doesn't have a casting cost. My mom told me never to talk about my ding with strangers. That's fair. Oh wow, someone carry added and Nissa come back? That's a really good sign. I think it's carry added here. Yeah. Polychronos is not exciting, but it's also not the worst. I mean, Avacyn's Pilgrim is not ideal because it's white, but I'll still take it. It's still an a mana dork. Yeah, regrowth is actually just fine. Garrick. I mean, like these are these late green picks are, have been great for us. Every card we have is either blue, red, or green. All right, well. Well, oh, I was going to say nothing exciting here. And then I found a soul ring. Oh, easiest pick ever. I bet you guys can actually see the sneezes coming sometimes. I'm just like, oh, he's looking up at the light. It's gonna happen. Oh, bribery? 
I hope that coalition relic comes back, but it ain't. But bribery in the cube is just in the vintage cube specifically is just where you want to be. Fellows? I wonder if for fellows is where we want to be now. Jeez. Good relic table today. Oh wow. Some some guys have all the luck. I mean this pack is great for us. Mull Drifter, Brazen Bar, Return of Witness, or Rafellos. I think we gotta go with Rafellos. Heartbeat of past the turn and let you kill me is exactly right. If you don't take advantage of the heartbeat the turn you play it, you're dead. Yeah, Borrower is powerful, but I think like Rafelos is more powerful than Borrower. If you have two forests out, like Rafelos is just gonna, yeah, it's got to be Rafelos. Crater Hoof? Oh God, are we just transitioning, guys? Are we just a Crater Hoof deck now? We're definitely not, but maybe. Yeah, I'm taking Crater Hoof. Thran Dynamo. Oh yeah, now we're talking. That's that good, good. Yeah, this is nice. Cut the blue. The blue is the only plan we have right now. Upheaval is where we want to be, my, my dude. We'll get there. We got carry added in Lotus Bloom. We'll get there. I ain't scared. Oh, what up, Epo? This doesn't look like an... Wow, okay, my bad. And we have Pilgrim, Elves, Soul Ring, Lotus Bloom, Sylvan Carry, Ever Fellas, and Thran Dynamo. I don't know. I'm just taking Counterspell. I mean, because if we get like three, if we happen to get like three blue green lands by the end of this draft, I think Counterspell's a reasonable option, especially if we get like a Bird of Paradise. Not an Emery deck. Could be a Deranged Hermit deck. Does Primal Command do anything? I'll just take Hermit. Um, wow, this pack is bad. We'll take Mirror Battlesphere. Sure. Mirror, Mirror into Crater Hoof is just a strategy. I want to put this over here for now so we can see all the cards. It's not a strategy. It's a calling. It's true. Can't even deny it. Acidic Slime. I like it. I don't think we're thirsting here. Oh, Dryad? Oh, for sure. That's a nice... It goes into a 3-drop slot as well. This Dryad and, and Rafelos is also great because it turns all our lands into forests. That's a combo. That's a combination maneuver. Heartbeat came back. I don't think we're playing it, but it is tempting. The Coalition Relic also did not come back, which is not a surprise. Oh, Eureka? 
interesting. I don't think we're a Eureka deck yet, but we could easily get there. There's also 19 cards in our sideboard. Isn't even that bad. Counterspell, Regrowth, Pelucranos, Deranged Tournament. Like, all those are fine playables. I would definitely say we got a good amount of playables. Does being every land mean Dryad makes them tap for any type? Yes. Yes, it does. Not a dumb question. Wow. That's great. Maelstrom. Oh, there's a Misty. Okay, I think we need Misty more than Natural Order, but we do have Woodfall Primus and two. Oh, God. Crater Hoof and Woodfall Primus? Oh, boy. I have no idea what to take here. Ugh. Ugh. I actually feel like we're a decent natural order deck. We need some capers cards. <laughs> the fuck are you guys saying? I couldn't resist it. Oh, Bird of Paradise and a Mana Vault. Trump has won the state of denial. Well, I'm pretty sure he won that a long time ago. Oh boy. Man, it's gotta be Man of All, right? <laughs> this is such a weird card to be in the cube. Fraley's is still in here? Wow, I thought Fraley's was taken out ages ago. Also, Ugin. We got Eureka. Oh boy, man. Oh boy. <sighs> okay, it's Ugin. Grim Monolith? How? <laughs> How is it this late? I mean, I'm, I'm going to take it. I kind of like having nature's claim. Wow, that's wild. Oath is decent, but not for us. Like, we don't ever want to have fewer creatures. Um. Yeah, I'll just want nature's claim. I don't... I don't have a similar effect to that yet. Finale of Devastation is not terrible yet. What do I mean yet? What does that mean? I think I mean because we have Mana Vault, Sol Ring, Grim Monolith, and like Ramp, 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 Ramp. And Dynamo. Oh man, if that Misty comes back. But again, there's nothing to search for with Misty. Like we don't have like a Trop or a Breeding Pool. This Garrick is better than the other Garrick, I think. So if we're going to play one Garrick, it's definitely going to be that one. I don't think we're Venturing. Could still Narset just because we have a lot of good hits, including like Natural or Bribery. Oh, people. I'm dying. Get the deranged hermit in the deck. I wish this was Wall of Roots instead, but I'll take it. Control magic. Sure. Yeah, we also have Garrick Relentless, which makes creatures in the sideboard. We have Wall of Blossoms, which we can play. This is 25. The cards we've got are pretty wild. I almost have to take Omnath, not because we can cast it easily, but because we can, like, 
get it with natural order. That's kind of funny. This doesn't do anything in our deck. Yeah, we'll just take Omnath. It's a late recurring nightmare, but I'll take it. That's a, I'm just to get Leshnorn. <laughs> take tendrils so no one else can have it sure you're amazing and have given me many years of... boingo oingo i appreciate you you're amazing you're breathtaking some guys have all the luck okay so, we could play Wall of Blossoms over, like, Miscalc. I don't actually think we're a Miscalc deck. I think I'd rather have Wall of Blossoms in the deck. I think we can cut Narset. I do kind of like this Garrick. Is it better than anything else? Probably not. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. We don't... I wish, like, a breeding pool and a... And a and a tropical island really put it over the top, I think. But right now, five eleven, and we also have Sylvan Carry added, which produces blue Dryad, which produces all the blue. So it's kind of like seven thirteen. I might go ten six. This is double double. The, the problem is four of our blue cards are double blue. But without things like opposition and even upheaval, I think our strategy is significantly weaker. So, and Wall of Blossoms is actually good with natural order as well. So, that being the case. I think it's 10 7, and I think we'll just play 41 here. That's. We're definitely not going to 18 lands with like. Four one drop sources and three two drop sources. I think we are going to take a gamble and just play 1741. So that's our. Uh... Thank you. Oh, Boingo, Oingo, all biscuits. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. If we had better fixing, I would definitely consider Omnath. I mean, we can definitely play it off of, like, Sylvan Carry added and Dryad. But, like... Oof. Um, you know what? Soaring and Grim Monolith means... Oh, this is a turn one soar. This is three, four, five, six, seven... Six mana on turn one. And if we draw any blue, we get to Bribery on turn two. Like... This is a weird this is a weird hand that is surprisingly not terrible. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, Agadim Undiscovered? Taking three? Not taking three. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a turn two Ugin, right? Three, six, seven, eight. <laughs> oh, good grief. 
gravy. Wow. Sweet green deck. They're probably like, what is, wow, this is the best blue deck I've ever seen. And I'm like, well, I got Rafello's Natural Order in my hand. I'll take a point. There's a second blue. So next time we get to Ultimate Ugin. I mean, I'm no expert, but that seems good. We can also untap our Monolith so we can Bribery. So next time we get to Bribery or Ultimate Ugin or both. Well... And we're just afraid of like Heroes Downfall Murderous Rider here. How do they have this? Come on, dude. God. That's so wild, man. Never fails. so wild they had to have this <laughs> off of three monocolored lands I don't know man feels Batman these are not that yeah Grave Titan <laughs> bedtime XDR have a good night buddy This is pretty wild for a turn two, Ugin. So the thing is, like, we can't play anything if we draw it anyway, so we might as well just untap this. <laughs> Okie dokie. So three, four, five, six, we'll have eight mana next turn. good if we lose this game we're like we got to turn two ugin and then turn bribery turn bribery i just said upheaval one two three four five six seven eight mana so next turn we just oh god one two three four five six seven eight i think it's just upheaval right like even so like we still get to play like a ton of we have to play both all three of these Huh, it's 
pretty good. <laughs> nah, not an upheaval deck. Oh boy. Oh boy. Beautiful biscuits. So natural order next turn into like Woodfall Primus, kill their one land. Or just cast Acidic Slime, I guess. Wow, so this game has been insane. We've Ugin, we Ugin on turn two. We've upheavaled into like seven mana. And then we briberied to get their Grave Titan. And they had Damnation for Grave Titan. Heroes Downfall for Ugin. Like, I guess we're going to find out if they have answer for Acid Slime Boy. Well, that's a thing, too. Uh, one, two... Three, four, five. That's a lot of mana, but I don't think we need it as the thing. Pretty sure this is called bullying. You know, maybe. Look at all these insane cards we're playing. I feel like this is Vintage Cube in its purest form. Because if they didn't have a thing to do last turn for one mana, they probably don't have one to do this turn. What? No, it's untapped. Stop asking me. This is not the best way to do it. We could just attack for two. I wonder if we can also... What is Crater Hoof? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11? Crater Hoof just kills them, right? I guess it's just 11 exactly. I acknowledge lethal. God. These guys are nagging. It's like, I'm like, that match was weird, man. They had the answers. That opening was on, I don't think we're going to beat it again is, is the problem. I think we got very, uh, not favored, but like, I feel like we, um, Yeah, let's do it again. <laughs> oh boy. Snap keep. Alright, soaring in on the opener. With a thieving skydiver if they have any Shut sort of shenanigans. Oh, Mr. Tasty, nine dollars for the turn two Ugin that didn't kill until round nine. I like that you said turn two. 
and then you also said round nine so you called the turns rounds and turns in the same in the same in the same and you also got the incorrect form of two but i wasn't going to say anything thank you buddy i appreciate you my dude How long does it take to count 5 million ballots? Is it counted by hand or are they the machines? I actually don't know the, 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 the details of the ballot counting process. Oh, thank God it's machines. I think it is machines because they do have barcodes and they have like, you have to bubble it in like a Scantron. There's no fucking way human beings are like, one ballot? two ballots like it would literally take a year play a signet oh god it's okay it's just natural order it's all you can take it's fine yeah i imagine they have like a random spot checking system where they're like yeah like that's for that's the same for everything though you know like everything in Everything in life has your random, like... Yeah, I mean, that's the only card you could take, so... Okay. I'm gonna play this guy for now. A city, a city slime. We're coming to America. So I need a second green here to really get it, get it going. What was that warning that just popped up? What warning? Warning. I mean, I, I went over here to see if there was a first round and then I went back to my game, if that's what you're referring to. One, two, three, four, five. We can just cast this guy to block here. Worrying about a match loss or something? Oh, the, oh, because we had mana in our pool. Yes, that is correct. I saw Ma and I saw Lost. Ma Ma! Yeah, we're just going to cast this guy. I don't want to get hit by Thief of Sanity, and our hand is not super great. If we draw, like, a one-mana artifact... <laughs> we have one. If we draw our mana vault, it's pretty good. Today. Why do I have this? Explain to me why I have this Neil Diamond song stuck in my head. Oh, nice. <laughs> sure.
Two forests in the bin? Well, oh, that's discouraging. Do you know Daniel Dutton wrote a song about the movie E.T. with Burt Bacharach like two years after it came out? What? No, that sounds amazing, though. Wait, but my question about the Minecraft pig wasn't answered. Can you please go back to my question about the Minecraft pig? Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is a good distribution of lands because no matter what we kill, we can't take them off a of color. But considering they are mana screwed, I think we're still going to try to do that. Um, I think double black for them is more important and double red. So, like, I mean, your Thief of Sanity is cool and all, but, like, it doesn't do a ton when you don't have mana to cast the cards you're stealing. Okie dokie. Man, they've hit five, at least four lands. At least. Jeez. Well, why don't we refer to Thieving Skydiver as Steely Dan? They can both be Steely Dan. Oh man, look at all these flying idiots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh god, if we had three. Ugh, god. I mean, it's almost Avacyn's Pilgrim here because it lets us play Ugin, and Ugin is probably the end of the game, right? Like negative three. So we just have to hit a land here, or or Grim Monolith, or a Mana Vault. Battleseer is fine, but I think it's on the same level as Whisperwood. Like, they're both four, four power creatures that are making more. One, two, three. They have hit they have hit six lands at the very least. All three hits have had two lands in them. This is six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands. <sighs> That's insane. They don't know about this. Discard two cards? Okay. This is it. Moment of truth. Yeah! Oh boy, we're doing it. And our acidic slime gets to live? Oh boy. Boy, they ain't got no days. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Ain't no darkness every day. Ain't no Ugin when she goes. Exile, what do they got? Only threes, right? So. In this house. And we have and we have natural or acidic slime next turn. Oh, please.
Man, Ugin Ugin been doing it. Treachery can't take uh Treachery can't take my Ugin. Wait, don't I just get the lightning bolt this thing? Natural order to hacking their account and making them concede is lethal. Um, do I want to attack? Like, they don't have anything, right? There's no way they have, like, a freaking lightning bolt that they're just not using while we have natural order in hand. It's one, two, three, four. We still have mana leak prevention up. Um, just this fat idiot. Not even close. So now we have Woodfall Primus and Ugin on board. Hmm, sounds good. This is nine damage next turn. Deranged term it would have been lethal, but that presumes like I mean like this gets around any removal spell that they may have. Plus, like, it, it leaves them with red, so they can just kill the Hermit. Like, I, I think this is just as safe, I want to say. And that's the end. Oh, wow. Our deck is cool. They had one card in hand, but they get to draw another card. <laughs> they get a card at the every, every turn. Every turn, they get to draw a card. I don't know if you, I don't know if you've heard of this this wild they don't have pot of greed get your Yu-Gi-Oh references out of here but my grandpa gave me those cards Oh, we're competing. Oh, I see. Hmm. Wow. That was that was a productive turn. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five. No, there's no turn three, Ugin, unfortunately. Sure, <laughs> easy choice. Angress Rampage in your... You have no cards in hand? This is very strange. What is this deck? <laughs> so they just have, like, no top end, or...? Yep, taking four. Okay, now we're now we now we're talking. Wow, they just took five from Whisperwood. Hmm. 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 
No blocks. I'll play Whisperwood. You got it. That's a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is Hermit better? Four two twos puts nine power. This puts six power. Having one four four could be extremely relevant. I think it's Hermit here because it lets us block with Hermit and not have to worry about the upkeep. Hit like an Emrakul. That'd be fantastic. Forest. Dang it. Sure. I mean, they both play around days. They both cost five. I also don't think that. What are you? What are you saying right now? Oh, and also they don't have a single blue or an island, so they have five cards in hand. That's pretty good. Oh, no attacks. I don't think we're paying here. I think getting Whisperwood down is just a little bit stronger. We need second blue here, though. Oh, that's pretty strong, actually. Two, three, four. Unfortunately, we don't have also Rafellos mana. And we're just going to hold back. And another land. I mean, I have to assume with seven cards they have an answer for Rafellos, but if they don't. This is all fine. Did they play Overgrown? No, they probably played a forest, I would imagine. Scavenging is sure. This is actually this is actually bananas. If we get to Uben and, and wipe this whole board other than like the manifest tokens, like This is actually really... Oh, wait, no, they exiled. Yeah, this is really good. They're going to get to keep A2-2. How much is this? 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh my god, we're one shy. <sighs> That's brutal. This is all they get to keep. Oh boy. Four. So this guy dies too, and they do get a they do get to keep the two two. And then Ugin dies, unfortunately. Oh my god, if we just had one more mana. Like, I can't even get over how good that would be. 8, 9, 10. And this nets us 2, so it's 12. And if we had another blue, I'd, I'd still be in a great 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12. Bounce everything. 
second blue is really hurting us here. Three, four. Yep. All right, Ugin. You did a good job, but three, four, five. We still have eight mana on board. Now we have zero blue, though. They still have six cards, which is pretty good. Oh, man. Like, so, like, like I just think one land there would have really made a difference for us. Ingress Rampage in there. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So we take 6 here. No, we take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep, go to 5. And a Hex Drinker. Okie dokie. So that's probably the end. Nope. <laughs> Our first island. Yep. All right. Cool. Well, that's a thing. I feel like they have enough creatures where this Garrick is m probably better. The deck is also very strange. second all right let's just play first this is good turn two grim into turn three lots of things plukernus could be fine i just think it's a little clunky oh god chromox is just terrible Oh, where were you last turn? <laughs> Alright, well, I feel like they're going to Angrass Rampage here. Chandra, that's fine. Yep, I'll take two. So long. Ooh, that could be interesting. What can we do here? Five mana. Let's play Wall of Blossoms, try to hit a land, I think. And we did, and then we get to play Findhorn Elves as well. Or we can play Garrick, but I don't really want to tap the Grim Monolith here. So we're just gonna... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Battlesphere Opposition seems good, but we do need a second blue source, so... swamp you know don't actually care about that as much when we have upheaval but mm. it's really really killing me here with the with the second blue source So this guy is one, what is he, level three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, they can make it protection from everything next turn. Eight. 
Be careful, why? Oh, I mean, I wouldn't level it up, is what I, I think that's what you're getting at. Yeah, you just don't level it up. Attack with Elf to bait the block for Garrick? Yeah, I don't think. I don't think that's a huge deal. Garrick's probably just going to die next turn. We can't cast these. Our only real option is Mere Battlesphere. The second blue has been the problem, unfortunately. <laughs> you ever just carry a huge mug of beer around on Halloween and she's just... Frankenstein? I don't... Frankenstein? No. No, I have not. But, um... You know, I bet I could. I just don't feel like tapping this. I guess we're fine, right? Sure. But evil? <laughs> oh, man. Interesting. Well, that's a big dude that I cannot cast this turn. So we can do what? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five. Yeah, we do have to kill Chandra, otherwise she ults next turn. That is correct. Attack Chandra. Attack your face. Attack your face. Uh, so this is going to be a 6, and it's going to deal 2, so it's going to deal 8, sure. Wait, these didn't attack their face? Oh, I'm an idiot. That's right. Okay. I was like, wait, what's going on? I got really confused for a second. All right. This guy's a problem. Sacrifice a permanent? The wolf? Why not the wall? I, I, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Just this guy, huh? And you're attacking face. That's interesting, but it doesn't do what we need to do, unfortunately. I could definitely see a situation where we should have untapped this last turn. We win? Oh, we win. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 4... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, that's, that's got to be lethal, right? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, everybody attacks here. Hmm. 
I'm just going to assume this is lethal. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Wow, that's pretty, that's pretty juice. Wow, if they attacked with Hellrider, I wouldn't have won. That's pretty hilarious. The lesson is to attack with your Hellrider. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven blue sources, plus carry added, plus dryad. That's nine blue sources. It feels like that should be enough. This hand sucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. Ugh, God. Austin, no major changes because I just haven't had any interest in changing it because of what's going on, right? Like, there's no there's no chance I'm getting together with friends and, like, drafting a cube. So, like, I just haven't really... The most I've been doing is, like, updating the cards in it. Like, I've been making sure to get all these sweet, like, alternate arts. Like, all the... I don't know if you guys can see this. Like, all the, like, Cyclonic Rift and, like, Ancient Tombs and stuff. All the, all the expeditions and, like, the sweet alternate arts. How many trophies? Just one. This is like my fourth draft. Doretti Spaghetti. One, two, three, four, five. Really love to love, I really love to have a card to play here. That would be great. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, five mana. So here comes Thunder Maw Hellkite. Oh, Whisperwood. Fascinating. Ooh, they plus Doretti. Deranged Hermit, hey? Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mana with the Nugent in hand. Come on, opposition. Oh, it's old Hexy Boy, your favorite and mine. Oh boy. The card is uh, hard to deal with. Mm. 
Nope, not going to pay. Opposition. Natural order. Are we hoofing? Four, five, six. That would be seven. Oh, baby. I'm just gonna hoof you. Because it's a degenerate thing to do. Everybody gets plus seven. Okay. <laughs> oh, this deck is where it's at. Oh, this deck is amazing. It's not great. The mana base definitely needs some work. But um, it's definitely been getting there despite that. So that's cool. Yeah, I feel like this deck is actually overpowered except for the mana base, where you're kind of like, I wish we were stronger. <laughs> Can we get a Stream Raiders battle? I've, I've stopped doing Stream Raiders currently because they're no longer sponsoring the stream currently. Um... Oh, I see. <laughs> well, like, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if, like, it's worth it to do. I don't know. Like, it's really weird. Like, because as a streamer, like, they definitely incentivize me to play it by, like, sponsoring the stream, right? And I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know if I just play it naturally. Because, like, then they're like, oh, we don't even have to pay this idiot. You know? So it's it's just a really confusing... <laughs> Those stingy bitches. <laughs> I want to keep this because you don't know what we're against, up against, and I think both of these are good for this, so. Come on, soaring. Just let your soul ring. Okay. I'm actually fine with that. Oh no. Oh no. Soaring. Do it. Do it. Don't. They didn't do it. They were like, nah, B. Soaring next turn is just bananas. Because we get to go Soaring Dynamo Dryad Land. Oh, that would be so good. You're not, you're not helping me out here. I think the three mana is better than the one extra mana here. That's my thought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We also have eight mana. What are they doing here? They're not doing anything. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. I don't know what's happening right now. What is this? Oh no! <laughs> That's sad! Oh, dang it! Okay, well... Oh wait, it goes to our hand with upheaval! Oh my god! Guys, can you even imagine? So what do we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We played a land, unfortunately. But if we play this guy, we get to play another land, right? Mm 
Yeah, manifest is only creatures. I have seven cards and five mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. We have five floating. Replay monolith, we net one, so we go to six. I think we can... I don't want to wait a turn because I don't know what they're going to play on six. I'm going to wait a turn anyway. Because they kind of have to wipe the board, but if they're just storming out, like, it's pretty bad. Oh, they didn't miss any land drops. Oh, Frost Titan. Oh, that's just fine. Oh, we're doing it now. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Oh, that doesn't do anything though, because it's just not it's not coming into play. Um Yeah, this is fine. Nobody cares about your ice dad. So four, five, six, seven. Eight. Do they concede? Oh, dang it. We were going to do so good. We was going to do real goods. I almost feel like we're a, a Eureka deck where we can just play like Opposition, Control Magic, Mirror Battle Sphere, Ugin, Woodfall, Crater Hoof, Kill You. They should have waited. Oh, uh, snap keep. Snap arena. If we hit another green, we get to play turn three woodfall. We could also just draw soul ring on turn one, right? We don't know. There's, I, I don't think there's storm. Like we just saw storm. We, a frost titan is not a storm card. Oh. I see. I I see. Without selling the singles for cards is for years, <laughs> um, I sell most of the big stuff on like MTG slick sick deals on on Facebook. What is this, Glen? Glenny, Glenarino. So next time we have six mana, we can go Dryad Wall. Oh man, give me. Oh wait, we can we go Dryad Skydiver for one, take their Soul Ring? Yes, we can. You yeah, know, assuming this guy lives. It's a big assumption. They have three cards. Oh my god, that sounds real good. Okay, play something. I, I don't care about whatever this is gonna be a treachery oh jace oh that's actually fine i've never seen this work i've never seen this in action before but scry two with this guy then figure out the card that you want to draw yeah that seems good so we're gonna have six we're gonna play dryad for three thieving skydiver for three steal your soul ring and then an ugin at some point this guy blue yep that seems good <laughs> that's a new good next turn give me that ring mm. this card has been overperforming in this cube if they tap out oh my god can you imagine Oh, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, it's a Facebook group, uh, the MTG Sick Deals group. It's got like 60,000 users or something. Um, don't don't even if they keep blue up. Solid strategy, yes. That's a, that's a good idea. Um, 
basically everything in the group you just sell for 10% lower than like TCG low. So if a card is on TCG for 50, you sell it for 45. But like you don't have to pay fees and usually it's pretty quick. To, you're pretty quick to get a sale because there's so many people in the group. Oh, okay. Well, that's juvenile. Oh, that's unfortunate. They're just letting it die? Okay. Seems good. Man, that Rafelis is really gluing, holding this, holding this, uh, this match together for us. They're gonna demo. That is unfortunatos. Maybe. I could just play Whisperwood, I guess. What do you think they demoed for, boys? They're just gonna kill this chase too? Oh man, they're really putting value on this card. One, two, three, four, wispy wood. Oh, they're cracking a thing. Oh, they didn't do anything with it, though. They're cracking a thing. It's a Garrick Wildspeaker. Man. Are they going to wipe the board? Because then we just get four tokens, which it seems pretty good to me. Oh, they're going to ninja. They're going to fall in Shinobi. Okay. Well, that oh, they're they're dead, right? We just get to natural order here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, so they get to replay Galenalendra. Okay, those are good. But if we upheaval, we get these back. Oh god, oh god, oh god, we're cratering. Oh boy. Oh, it's happening. Don't even, don't even need to look. Got him. Got him. Dude, Crater Hoof is just, you just take it. You just, if you're green, you just take it. I want to say good games because I, I think they're going to say good games. That's my impression. Guys, check out ManaTraders.com. They have a great subscription service for Magic Online. Let's you test all the cards your heart desires depending on the plan. You get 15% off the first three months with the link and promo code down below. Be sure to use those. Begin. Oh, they just can see her. Oh, wow. Two trophies in a row. Guys, what are you going to do? Sometimes you're on a on a hot one. Field Marshal? That guy's got to be worth, like, a nickel. That's pretty good. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.